Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Hey. Deborah. Disney. <clears throat> not so faithful as Here's how you could do... Just everyone a service. Not, not that you're not already doing that. But, uh... Get Robert Downey Jr. back for an Iron Man miniseries on Disney+. Plus. A prequel miniseries, of course. Not even, like, really long. Just, like, four episodes or something like that. Um, anything longer than three. Um... Yeah, yeah uh... And then, uh, if... WB wants to compete with you. They have to get a. Uh, this is how you just fucking win the streaming wars, honestly. They have to greenlight a Batman show. It's a fucking fact. Look it up. I don't know why this is only just now coming to me. But yeah, they're gonna find. They're trying to find a way to compete with uh, Disney Plus and all of their Marvel shows. Um. Why don't you just go ahead and speed up the process and then, you know. He thought you'd save this and, uh, what you have to do is, okay, I have to figure out what the I fucking videos I need to remove. All you have to girl. do is, uh, hit him up with that, uh, Iron Man show. They will have no fucking choice but to greenlight an HBO Max or DC Universe, but who am I kidding? HBO Max Two -faced Batman show. But sometimes you have to make I'm gonna watch your shit and my shit. That's how you do it, so one last call. A bullet in the head or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result! Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't think so. Bruce, I don't... I don't know what to do. So, I, I talked so. about how... An Iron Man show would be what sparks a, or an Iron Man or Captain America show <clears throat> would be what sparks a Batman show, because they need to compete. And let me tell you, they're not going to compete with Iron Man or Captain America with fucking Polka Dot Man. Wherever they put me, with fucking Polka Dot Man. So, um. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you what I want out of both of these shows, or all, all four of these shows. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. Polka Dot Man is, by the way, not a confirmed show, and I'm pretty sure it's never happening. It was just a joke, but why not list all four possibilities? So, Iron Man. I think the Iron Man show should focus on Iron Man, but it's in between Infinity War and Endgame. We get to see everyone's journey. We get to see what prompted Bruce to become, uh, as the subtitles say, Smart Hulk. But I'm just gonna say Professor Hulk. Um, we get to see what prompts, uh, or how Thor's depression went. Um, how he, you know, man, how he was coping with everything. Which, not very well, clearly. Um, Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love. We get to see what how Rocket adapted to his new family. We get to see how Tony, for the most part, struggled. Um, after, in, not only in space, but in just in general. The space stuff can be flashbacks and stuff, because then that would be kind of weird. And I'm not talking like Titans flashbacks where. You have entire episodes dedicated to flashbacks. I'm talking like Arrow flashbacks where you swap in between. Um, 
And then um, you can see how Tony says like resentment is toxic and it eats you up inside. Captain America says that he knows the feeling, but who does he resent exactly? I mean, he seems pretty nice to everybody. I'm guessing it's Tony in between the years, but that was never fleshed out. Or maybe it was Tony during civil, after Civil War. Um, then we get to see Black Widow. I don't really know what they do because her story was pretty much covered. We get to see how Hawkeye was doing uh, more cool stuff, right, as Ronan. <clears throat> and then we see what Nebula did because her, she's weird. I, I don't really know what the fuck Nebula was. I have no idea what the fuck Nebula was doing in between Infinity War and Endgame. But yeah, I, I want that in the Iron Man show. Now, for... The, um, Polka Dot Man show. I want an Ant-Man style heist movie. It'd be cool if he was sort of a uh, ring. By the way, I do not want it to be attached to the Suicide Squad movie. Um, I think the Suicide Squad movie is going to be good, and Peacemaker is going to be good, and Polka Dot Man is going to be good in it. But I think in the movie, he's going to probably die. I think he's kind of dispensable, disposable. Fuck. And um, so I want it to be on Earth Prime. Uh, the Arrowverse Earth Prime. It'd be cool if it was uh, a mini series. Um, and it featured um, the Iron Man one is a mini series as well. Uh, if this Pokemon Man one <clears throat> was a mini series that featured um, the Earth Prime version of Pokemon Man. And was about like heists and hijinks, and um, they could do it like the animated um, CW miniseries, series, series, where um, yep, because that's a word now, like Vixen, where we have Arrowverse uh, characters show up every now and then, uh, like Vixen. The first episode has Green Arrow and Flash. Um, the second series. Has um, Black Canary and Cisco, and they're all voiced by them, you know. So, a Polka Dot Man would be um, post crisis, but maybe he interacts with Green Arrow and um, Flash at some point. So it's live action, but it's like the animated show. And. Um, Then, like, at the end, you can have, like, a multiverse wormhole open up. Um, and then... Uh... The next series... Fuck. Sorry, my, my alarm went off just now. Um, so... The next series we'll talk about is Captain America. And this series... Could be about, um, could be about World War II, but I feel like that was already covered. And I don't think they should do the Infinity War Endgame thing here. I think maybe the Civil War and Endgame tie, um, or is Civil War and Infinity War, uh, in-betweens. I don't really know how much there is to tell there, but I think that could be neat. Another idea is, um... I really did, I didn't think about all of these ideas, but I had a bunch of them coming to me. Um, and I needed a topic uh, to talk about real quick, so that way I had videos and stuff. Um, you could just put it somewhere; it doesn't really matter where. But I prefer we get to see a lot more, like actual Captain America. Um. Where he's like, 
in Civil War, or not in Civil War, in, in the beginning of Infinity War, you could tell he, like, changed, he's, like, on the run and stuff like that. That's not actual Captain America, right? That's not his everyday. I want to see Captain America's everyday in this. So probably after... Probably... Yeah. Probably after Winter Soldier, but after Age of Ultron. No, wait. After Winter Soldier, but before Age of Ultron. Um, that would be great, I think. Um, and then... Uh, we could just, you know, see him rescuing cats, and then maybe he's, uh, tracking down some leads on Hydra, and then that can lead into something else, I guess. Uh, probably would lead into... I don't fucking know. Oh, but it would be cool if it crossed over a little bit with, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe he runs into, like, Daisy. Um... But then, uh, the Batman show. This is why I made the video. This is why I made the video. I think this should also be on Earth Prime, Arrow vs. Earth Prime, because I don't think we're getting a Robert Pattinson TV show, and Ben Affleck is out. After the Flash movie, he's like, fuck it, I'm done. Um, kind of sucks. Wish he would reconsider. But hey, you can't force a man to do something that he's not obligated to do, right? And, I mean, even if you could, you definitely shouldn't. I wouldn't want to be forced to do something, so, like, you know. But, um... The, uh... This series would be on Earth Prime. Well, it would be back and forth. It would be... Um... Like... It would be a nine-episode miniseries. And I think the first three episodes would be... Earth, um, one. And then, um, the next episode would be Earth two, just to show how, like, different events are in the multiverse. Get, you know, Batman is a name that gets a lot of, um, attention. You explain the multiverse with Batman. You show up Earth two, and you see how different and evil he is, and then you can have... Like, some crossover here. I don't really know how that works. We see Batman's mask with an arrow through the eye. We know that um, Slade uh, Slade had that mask like that. Um, so, uh, since Oliver died on the island and on Earth 2, I think Batman killed him. But that means who killed Batman, if we're assuming Batman was killed, which I think yes. So, I mean, I know that Slade wasn't killed, and I know that Slade put the mask there. Um, but if it's Batman, let's say Batman's dead. Let's say he had a Mirakuru roid rage, and um, the Batman of Earth 1 got stranded on Earth 2, and then they duped it out at the end. And then episode, or in the, um, next, <sighs> math, fuck. The next five episodes are Earth Prime, establishing where we are and where we're going. I don't think this should be a miniseries, well, maybe this should be a miniseries, but then have, like, a full series of, at some point of a Batman. Like, maybe the pre-crisis uh, Batman got stuck on Earth 2 and just couldn't figure out how to get back. Um, and then maybe post-crisis Batman um, has uh, done something he didn't want to do, so he left. We know that Joker is dead in um, Era or in Batwoman. Uh, but that was a post-crisis reveal, not a pre-crisis reveal. So, pre-crisis is stranded on Earth 1, or on Earth 2, and uh, po uh, post-crisis is in uh, exile, similar to Luke Skywalker. Except with Batman, 
That's actually something I can understand. Perhaps Joker is not the only guy he killed. Perhaps he killed a few others, and then maybe he like attacked Alfred or Gordon or something like that, and he decided, you know what, I can't keep, I can't, I'm going down a road I shouldn't go down. I'm going into exile. And then Batwoman finds him in the next season or something like that. Well, it wouldn't be Ruby Rose. Uh, it's this Jimmy Show Leslie chick. So it's not Kate Kane. So probably don't do that. He'll find. Ooh, maybe Kate Kane disappeared to go find um, Batman. You need to have two Batwomans. Bat Batwomans. Batwomen. But I think the first episode of each, like, arc that I've set up here should be, um, like, an origin story. You have the Earth, uh, 1 origin story, the Earth 2 origin story, and the Earth Prime origin story. And you fill out an explanation for both, uh, universes. Uh, for one... Slade's Miraculu Rampage in both uh, Earth-1 and Earth-Prime, since we're filling out lore here. He goes through Gotham, presumably, and he goes through Bloodhaven. So it'd be cool if Batman and Nightwing teamed up at some point. Get the actor from Titans, that'd be great. And then, um... Brendan Thwaites, I think is his name. Um, then... Uh... What the fuck? Yeah, so then they go after Slade and they both lose or something like that. They wouldn't be dead. I mean, I guess you can kill Nightwing if you want. We already have like a main Nightwing in a show. But I really want them to leave room for Nightwing or for Robin or something to come back at some point. I think you should use your characters a little bit before you kill them. I mean, if Robin is dead in... Um, you, you can do whatever the fuck you want, alright? I'll admit it. But if Robin is dead in the DCEU, that's a big waste of a big character. Sure, Robin doesn't carry as much weight as Batman, but, um... What, what are you gonna do when, when you run out of names because you just kept killing them all? Hi, I'm a reporter of Daily Planet, Jimmy L. So, um, yeah, the, uh, um, yeah, so, like, yeah, I fucking, I can't, I'm so tired that I can't fucking, I just can't fuck. Um, so, the, uh, you know, so we got all of the basic lore built out. Um, I think you can have, like, a show called, like, Batman and Robin or something like that for the CW. You're getting Superman and Lois. Why not put Batman and Robin? Um, and so, like, this Batman series would be a, a prequel to that. And then you have the big Batman show. That goes on for, like, five seasons. I have another topic, but I'm gonna have to. No, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I, I'm okay. Uh, see you later. So I just thought of something cool. Um, it probably won't happen, but on technicality, I really hope it does. Um, Scott Pilgrim is finally out. Uh, again. I hope it doesn't disappear this time. You remember the Deadpool game? It disappeared on the exact same day as Scott Pilgrim during the 
Great Marvel Purge. And uh, then it came back, and we were all like, hey, I wonder if Scott Pilgrim's coming back, too. Um, it didn't uh, until now. But uh, Deadpool disappeared again. Deadpool's gone. Is Scott Pilgrim going to be here for like three days, and then peace, I'm out, fuckers? Like, I hope that's not what happens. But, uh... It'd be sick if the way Ubisoft decided to hold uh, hold onto the license is by um, putting him out on uh, putting him in like a new game and putting him in um, Smash Bros. Yeah, that's right. I fucking said it. Put Scott Pilgrim in the game. Consumer model. It'd be cool if like he had um. If it was like a Simon and Richter Belmont situation. So, certain moves. Uh, like, like, it would, um, he wouldn't be an Echo Fighter for anyone or anything like that, and he wouldn't have an Echo Fighter, presumably. But perhaps, um, you play a Scott, Ramona, Steven, and Kim. Uh, and then they have, like, variations and stuff. Stevens is Wallace and um, Kim's is uh, Knives, but then you also have so, Nega Scott and Nega Ramona or whatever. What's Bruce hey Diva. Hey Diva. Woo 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 woo. You can't get on my bed right now. You peed on it earlier. So I have to clean it. Well, it's a good thing you're here, and it's a good. The sheets are still in the washer. So um. Yeah, the, uh... What the hell are you doing here? Um, that'd be cool. So, like, you know, all... And, uh, with uh, Simon and Richter... Uh, Simon borrows a lot of things from Richter, and Richter borrows a lot of things from Simon. Uh, the, you know, the old, the old quote from Sakurai. So who's really an Echo Fighter of who? Um... Something's happening, and it doesn't look like You know, so just make them alts, and give Scott... Or give everyone, like, Ramona's hammer as a few moves. Just be diverse. You know, maybe even Scott and Ramona and Steven Stills can do the, um... Is something wrong? Uh, that weird sneezing thing that Kim does. Or all of them can use Ramona's hammer. That sort of thing. Excuse me? I think they're fucking sick. Okay. Am I the only one who thinks that would be dope? Because, I mean, it, it, it sounds dope, don't it? For you? Dope it. An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a um, crap, yeah. let's go. So, also, Scott Pilgrim put it just going to be in the background of this video, hopefully. The correct answer is, are you dead? <laughs> now, let's get started. Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. him out like that how did you do that i had a different impression of you from tv you never seemed that capable why don't you just keep that to yourself 
Every man needs a little mystery, don't you think? After all, I have the image of a dissolute playboy to maintain. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you. Commissioner Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? <laughs> Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight.